Welcome back to Drivers Hub. Now on this channel we like to feature cars that have been built up to stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Those are kind of builds but the car that we're going to show today is a proper build and I mean when I say build almost everything has been converted. In the past life it was a Lancer and now it is a proper proper performance machine. Yeah, I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna drink a lot of Hennessy to pass the time. I'm gonna get that money just to make me feel I don't think you need any sort of introduction for what this car is. This is Horsepower Cartel's Lancer Evo 4. And in the past life I'm guessing it was a Lancer 1.3 or a Lancer 1.5. But the guys over at Horsepower Cartel took this car and they've converted it into a proper Evo 4 convert. So it has the engine, it has everything that makes an Evo. And well, I'm pretty sure you've seen it on YouTube a bunch of times. But today I'm going to tell you all about the build that they have actually done. Now before we get into the stuff that you guys really want to hear about which is the engine how it drives and all of that stuff I just want to quickly brush up on how this car looks First of all I absolutely love this military green paint uh, it has the Evo 8 wheels which have been uh, painted in this nice bronze goldeny color red brake calipers and yeah of course uh, the brakes have been upgraded uh, eight piston calipers up front six piston calipers at the back amazing braking potential uh just like the rally car you have this massive wing over here and you have a massive muffler that you can basically stick your hand into coming down to the side like i said the wheels are there you have the side skirt evolution 4 badging and everything the car has been properly stanced so the wheel gap is basically non existent and then coming up to the front since this is still a lancer the headlights and the tail lights are basically the same The hood is a carbon Kevlar hood which means that it's going to be super light and it's going to be super strong. Uh you have two openings over here in the front to let hot air and stuff out. You have a NACA duct right over here and the bumper has also been changed. So just like the rally car it has these massive lights over here but I'm pretty sure this car is never going to see the dirt but it's a really nice looking car. Now like I said Lancers in India used to come with engines like a 1.3 or a 1.5 but this engine is a 4G63 that is the real deal it's a 4G63T and if that wasn't enough Santosh from Horsepower Cartel has gone the full way and he's done all upgrades possible I mean literally everything so for that I will actually have to get my phone up and talk you guys through each and every mod that this car has been uh, done with so if my phone opens yeah so it has forged je pistons so the pistons have been changed forged eagle rods evo 8 cams and the cool thing about the cams is that it's actually in a clear case so you can see them actually working you have adjustable pulleys a built race head a gt 35r ball bearing turbo yeah even the turbo in this car has been changed and it's not running the full capacity of boost that this turbo can actually take i think so it's running around 11 psi right now and can take much more apart from that you get a cop ignition system link g4 ecu that's right even the ecu has been changed because after all of these mods i mean you need to change the ecu because the stock ecu just can't take all of this power and all of this stuff going on uh carbon kevlar hood i've told you about that it has uh, different injectors a big brake kit uh largest coilovers and the cool thing about the coilovers and the dampers is that you can change the setting of the dampers from this thing over here so you can do a few adjustments over here and you can totally change the way this thing rides you have a boost controller you have apex c turbo timer uh, a high capacity oil cooler turbo smart waste gate uh, upgraded fuel pressure regulator a custom ecu map uh, a bnm ignition system coil on plug conversion fuel surge tank a 044 fuel pump tommy head gasket and a apex e intercooler i mean this is barely a lancer that you can find in india i mean the amount of mods that have been done to this car is absolutely insane so before we go for a spin with santosh he's just come here to do the boost controller right yes. so boost controller and after this the car will be running 24 psi no not 20 Then how much? Like fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keeping it, you know, keeping it 
little stock, a little yeah. slow, reliable. So, 14, 15. And how much, I mean, I didn't mention in uh, the video right Starting now. Starting 11, 12 right now, depending. I guess because of the climate, sometimes it, uh, it it tends to like, at night time it runs higher boost, at daytime it runs less yeah. because of the heat and stuff. It should be the opposite. But I don't know, I, it's different. I don't know, the car's moody. Yeah. It could and be the uh, faulty boost controller, so. And how much horsepower, approx? About 350 to 400. Right. It's capable of making about 500 because it's a full built engine. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, the previous owner said he was running about 24, it's capable of running 28, but uh, just taking it easy, you know, don't want to break anything, Yeah. You drive it okay. So now we're taking the car for a spin and I have Santosh with me driving. So, you know, first I want to ask like, how difficult is it to maintain like a car like this in India? Uh, my honest advice, honestly, if you're, if you're looking for first, this, this cannot be your primary car. Yeah. You know, this, this is one of those cars you gotta have like, right now I'm using it like a primary car because, uh, yeah, no, I'm kidding. It, it, I, I can use it because this thing's, you know, touch wood is running good right now. AC is working nice. I can really it. It's actually the most economical car I have in my garage. You know, being a four cylinder. All my other cars are V8s and V8s and a V6. And yeah. Yeah, that's it. So um, I have another four cylinder, but it's boring. It's an Eco Sport. But, um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't recommend this thing having a primary car. And I would recommend this having this as your first project car. And now, like, I know you you didn't, like, make it yourself. You bought it, of yeah, course. Yeah, so I got lucky. This car yeah. was built and, uh, you know, came with all the, um, with all the good parts, you know, like, yeah. you know, the fully built engine, big turbo, uh, full coilover setup, uh, you know, uh, upgraded bushings and everything yeah so while buying like a car like this like with all of the stuff done and since it's a convert and not like a proper one from the factory what all do you have to look out for when you're buying a car like rust. this rust rust is a major thing that you have to look out for because it is uh you know it's, it's like cool. 20 years old yeah. uh yeah it is uh what's it called it is a japanese car in a, a humid place so i mean the body on it you have to check it out you know yeah um Luckily, the first Evo I had was the Evo 6, mm -hmm. but that was the imported Evo. It was still a convert, uh -huh. but it was the imported shell because it was the automatic one. Right, right. So it was the imported ones. A lot of parts from the la Evo actually directly bolts on. So in this, the coilovers, if you go to buy coilovers, I can buy coilovers for a Evo 4. It'll have right. to be for a, a Lancer. You know? Right, right. Which is, it's, which is okay, it's fine, you know. So what they do basically, you know, um, they are... Uh, they take they take the top of an Evo, the, the yeah. bottom part. And, right. Uh, basically, the shell, the top portion is the Lancer. So right. everything else, your all-wheel drive, that tunnel for the all-wheel drive system for the for the drive shaft to go through, everything is there. It's you know, there, right? yeah, yeah. So you don't have to worry about all that. And um, KS is building one more Evo. He said it's going to be his final Evo. Right. And uh, it's going to be north of 25 lakhs when he decides to sell it. So. But he said it's going to be the most sorted one because it's his final car. So is it going to be like a Evo 4, 5, 6 or like I a... think he'll build a 6 only. Achha, okay. okay. Because, uh, I mean, that's the best one, right? Yeah, so, okay. definitely. And, uh, I mean, I don't know your preferences, like, uh, the Evo, I think so from the 7 onwards, completely different. Okay, let's... <laughs> Yeah, that was still pretty quick. Yeah, so I mean, but like I was saying earlier, you just feel the car become slow when you turn on the AC. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you could, uh, like I was saying earlier, um, 
on, uh, on, I mean, even though this is a quick car, it's not like a, you know, it's a slow car. Uh, 10 PSI is obviously less than stock, but it's got a bigger turbo, built internals and all that. Right. So it's going to be a little faster than stock. Yeah. But uh, main problem with these cars is heat soak. Now, the reason why I like this car so much, this one in particular of my car, was because that it, it had a lot of cooling upgrades, like oil, upgrade oil cooler, yeah. bigger radiator. So that's why I liked it, you know, that's why uh, I really like this car. My previous Evo, the Evo 6 I had, was a stock one. All it had was just Evo 8 cams and probably like built internals. Yeah. Um, but other than that, um, you know, I had a lot of problems with it. It's okay. Yeah. And uh, I mean, this is a pretty insane build. But do you think like maybe you'll see yourself upgrading to like a Evo 7, 8 or 9? Listen, if there's one for sale, I wouldn't mind, you know, like, but then it's just going to be like with the prices of everything is going yeah. on. This is your best bet, you know, something yeah. under, uh, not this car particularly, but like, you find an Evo under 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs, you know. Yeah. Um, my build should be around, around 20 lakhs. Right. And, uh, I, it's not for sale, but if I would sell it in the future, I'll probably sell it around 20 lakhs. Right. And honestly, bro, like, where are you going to get 400 horsepower for yeah, 20 nowhere. lakhs? Yeah, <clears throat> and, and bro, honestly, uh, Evo has never left me stranded out of all my cars and pro Never left me stranded. Yeah. I've never flatbedded the Evo. Only the time when I sold my white one, because it was standing for a while, uh, there were some issues in it, so we had to, you know, but... So like, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask was, now I know you've worked on it quite a lot and I would say 80 to 90 percent of the work is already done. But if yeah. there has to, like, if you want to change something or if you want to, you know, like, alter a few things, what would they be? Well, first was cosmetically. When I got the car, you saw it, it wasn't yeah. cosmetically the best looking yeah. car. Yeah. But um, that's sorted now. Now I want, to, I want to work on the interior. There's still a little nicks and crannies, as you can kind of hear, like, you know, the interior rattling and stuff. But other than that, uh, touch what the car is running good, you know, like. Yeah. Just put good fuel in it, get it serviced on time and you're good to go and i beat the crap out of this car you know you see the way i ship yeah. and stuff like when it comes to economy like just because we're in india and a lot of people care about it six seven pretty bad, decent right? yeah in pretty the city, decent semi sending yeah and when it comes to power now yeah when it comes to power there's no dyno in india at least the one in mumbai or pune or anywhere close by that has an all-wheel drive uh, dyno. Approximately, how much do you think this is pushing right now? Right now, as we're standing, uh, not much because it's on low boost, but like I said, I can crank it up. Uh, probably, see, I can probably make it like 400 wheel. Yeah. But there's no point because the usage is more power, there. more responsibility, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah, the yeah. Responsibility is parts being broken. Yeah. I'll have to like worry about my clutch, my gearbox my rear differential, transfer case, all that things go yeah. for toss. The engine can handle it. Yeah. That's not the issue. I think even the stock transmission can handle it. But I don't want to risk it. No, and uh, you know, Mitsubishi isn't in India anymore. And especially this setup, the 4G63 and everything. How hard is it for you to source parts and everything? It's available. Everything's available in Japan, believe it or not. So. Um, you know, there's guys like KS Motorsports that can uh, source you the parts. N1 Racing is there. Yeah. Uh, I recommend KS. Like you saw, like right now, we just pulled up, literally swapped in the boost controller. It's yeah. an easy job, but he had it in stock. Yeah. So that was the benefit, you know. Alright, I think so that's pretty much it, I mean. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching, Santosh from Horse Park Cartel. Uh, hopefully, like, subscribe and share. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll have more collaborative content like this in the future. And both of us, both of our brand's merchandise is on throttleshow.co.in. He has his own uh, yeah. code and we everything. Got new, we got the new uh, Only Flames. Only Flames t-shirt. I'll have his uh, links all in the description. Go check and it out. Car club, car club. Yeah. Check it out. So, I mean, your merch game compared to us is pretty lit. We have to get our shit up <laughs> <Someone> now. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, go buy his merch. Go buy our merch. Follow both uh, channels and we'll see you in the next one.
Yeah, I'm alright. I'ma drink a lot of Hennessy to pass the time. I'ma get that money just to make me feel alive. I'm getting high. Don't you waste my time. Do you really care about my feelings? Don't you lie? Yeah, I'm alright. I'ma drink a lot.